Good evening and welcome to Hungary Report, start from public media and one's foreign language news hour. I'm Chenga Gabriela Iboya with today's news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin. Let's begin. Pressure on Hungarian borders has increased dramatically since last year. Three times as much migrants have tried to legally cross into the country, to be exact. Gergely Gulyás said that Hungary has spent almost 588 billion forints, or some 1.6 billion euros, but Brussels only gave Hungary 7 billion forints, which is around 90 million euros. The minister emphasised Brussels needs to change, as it should protect countries who are defending their borders instead of punishing them. In order to have effective control over the borders, transit zones must be restored. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade called Hungarian-American trade relations a success story. Peter Siato emphasized at a business conference in Budapest that the United States is the second largest investor in the country. 1,700 US-based companies employ 106,000 Hungarian employees. He added that the Hungarian government has entered into investment cooperation agreements with 88 US companies since 2015, resulting in $1.4 billion of investments from overseas. A smart warehouse is being built in VATS. The two-story, 20,000-square-metre building will use world-class state-of-the-art technology to move thousands of packages. The building will be built with the involvement of two universities from Budapest, and the site will also function as a great practical training ground for students and lecturers alike. The investment will amount to 27 billion forints, or some 74 million euros, and is planned to be completed in one and a half years. Hungary's experience in epidemiology was shared by the Speaker of the Parliament at the meeting of parliamentary speakers in Athens, Greece. Laszlo Kovér said that the Hungarian government shapes defence among two principles, the right to life and the sovereign duty of the state as a public authority to act. Laszlo Kovér emphasised the Hungarian government is one of the few whose support has increased due to successful crisis management. <clears throat> For the 10th year, Turok Balin's Stabito House has been helping children and families suffering from incurable diseases. State Secretary for Health Ildiko Horvat spoke today about the fact that Tabita plays a special role as a child hospice within the healthcare system because it helps families who are going through the most difficult period of their lives. Over the past decade, more than 300 such families have been helped here. She stressed that the loss of a child is a tragedy, a pain that will never go away, and supporting the health workers working in this field is a social duty. And that's all for now, but don't forget you can catch Hunger Reports every night after 11 o'clock news and online as always. Do stick around and watch our German, Russian and Chinese language news. Thank you for watching and have a lovely evening.